If this is my meal preps, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> but Loki, I trust Alex with the way he makes food. So I knew this wasn't gonna be like a bad meal prep. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's Alex or Jars, whatever you want to call me. It doesn't really matter. As you guys can see by the title of the video, I'm gonna be meal prepping. I'm gonna bring you guys along. I'm meal prepping for myself. I'm meal prepping for a client. Un I, the client will be unnamed, okay? So because for confidentiality reasons, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so I'm here at Stater Bros. I'm gonna go grab some groceries that me and him are gonna be using for uh, our meal preps. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. And just because I do it like this doesn't mean it'll work for you. Or maybe it will. Who knows? You copy my recipe, it'll definitely be low calorie, very tasty. But I'm not saying it's gonna work for everyone. Some things that work for me might not work for you. Some things that work for you might not work for me. So if you try it, don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. But this is really tasty. It's what I like to do. It's what I like to use for my meal preps. It's super easy, super fast, super tasty, and it's easy to stick to. So let's get to it. I'll be right back from the store in like two seconds. So one, two. Okay, so I just got home and here is the receipt. So total was, let me see. Total was 87.88, but $18 on containers. So 88 mine is 18, like I said, it's $70. So 70 bucks for two people for a whole lot of meals. That's just a lot of money. So let's get into cooking. I'm gonna be cooking them a couple different ways and I'm doing cooking for flavor as of right now. So for me, I'm cooking for flavor. If you're gonna get into meal preps, don't go straight into just shitty, non-flavorful food. You're gonna burn yourself out super fast. Like I said, I got a whole lot of chicken and I got veggies. I was hoping it wouldn't take as long as I was thinking, but I don't have tin foil, and tin foil is like my main. Actually, no, I just use tin foil so, it, so I don't have to clean as much at the end. Lazy. <laughs> what do you mean? Let's not be lazy. lazy. It's helpful. Lazy. What's that smell? It smells like eggs. I was like, what the fuck? I thought it was me. Uh, it's like it's my nuts. Oh yeah, Ella's gonna have egg for the first time. Well, her hard boiled Her egg. first hard boiled egg. Cause the first time didn't go so well. Yeah. So I need mommy to keep an eye on her. Cause she's yes. gonna be the one feeding her. Cause the last time we gave her an egg, but Alex had accidentally put a bunch of seasoning on it. <gasps> no, last time Yoati gave her egg. Oh yeah. After I, I fed Yoati avocado toast, I put seasonings on it and Ella had a little allergic reaction. So we don't so know So hopefully it wasn't because of the egg, hopefully it was just because it was just a bunch of different flavors, like all at once, that like threw it off. So yeah, she can do that right now. Okay, first things first, let me get the chicken out of the package. If you guys are gonna yell at me for not washing the chicken, you don't need to wash the chicken. You guys don't need to actually wash the chicken. I know, it's weird, I learned it in my, cul in my culinary, but yeah, I learned it in my culinary class I took in college, and I learned it in my nutrition class. It should be washed already, and regardless, when you cook it on the pan or in the oven. What are you doing? Is she good? Yeah, look, show them the egg, and then try it. There you go. <laughs> look how she listened. Mm. All right, let's go back. So yeah, like I was saying, you don't need to wash it. So, damn, these are some big ass chicken breasts. I know this is wasting chicken, but I hate this shit. It's disgusting. I will not eat it cooked. I will not eat it at all. So I cut it off and I throw it away. This stuff off. This is what takes probably the longest besides the cooking, just cause you need to, or if you don't care, then you don't care. Then it's not a big deal to you. But I care and I want my food to be good without having to worry about all these things without worrying about all these things being in my mouth as I'm eating my chicken. What did he say? Oh. When you're looking for chicken, you gotta make sure that it's not tough like this, because when it cooks, it's gonna stay that way. And you're just gonna feel a bunch of super intensely hard chicken while you're chewing it. But hopefully it's not as bad as I'm thinking it is, because it feels pretty tough right now. But when that happens, I usually separate it from everything else just so that I can keep an eye on it. And by the end of it, when it's done, I can either Deem if it's edible or not. Okay, so for the first batch, I am going to, like I said, separate the tough chicken, and I'm going to be cooking it on the stove because one of my client, my client that I'm cooking food for, is actually coming over to come hang out with you today. So it gives you a little hint of who it might be. Where are you? 
Ah. Lemon pepper is definitely my favorite seasoning. And then we got Cajun, give it a little bit of spice. We got some garlic powder for an extra little oomph. And then just in case we have, oh no, it was perfect. We have salt and pepper, fuck. Lemon pepper is like the best thing ever. Little garlic powder, into the pan it goes. Some Cajun, add to it. Okay, like I said, we want to save a lot of time. We got to use this quick made rice. So, I'm supposed to say one cup. I don't know where my cup measuring cup things went, so I'm just gonna. So yeah, it's in there. Here, I love being a little owl. But there's the chicken. It's looking a little. Mm. Yeah, put some more seasonings on top. Like I said, it's okay. Just don't go too crazy with it. I'm gonna update you guys when everything is kind of getting closer to being finished. Uh, I didn't know where the sign is. The line. Right here? Yeah. Here, guys, you can have one too. You're not in my house. Here, you got one. You're not in my house. Ooh, rice is actually perfect. Let that sit for a bit. So, rice is good. That serving of chicken is good. I gotta start doing the veggies in just a second. Good. Here's the chicken. You know. Now it's golden brown to it, and now I gotta do some veggies. Frozen veggies are by far the easiest thing to get. They're already chopped, they're already cooked. All you gotta do is either cool them down or season them as you want on the stove. And that's what we're about to do. So let's do it. Okay. Okay, so Louise about to leave, and he was hanging out with you, I think. And like I said, my first I meal. Yeah, like I said, I was making meal preps for myself and a client of mine, and this is the client. No surprise. Y'all, I'm getting back into my meals, and I'm excited, but I'm scared. But Loki, I trust Alex with the way he makes food, so I knew this wasn't gonna be like a bad meal prep, because I've done a lot of meal preps in the past, but this is chicken parmesan with extra parmesan cheese, but only one mahi, because I wasn't that hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. What I try? All of it. Did you season these too? Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, even the little veggies are, are seasoned. They need to be. The pollo's always my favorite. Mm. <laughs> I love how you make your chicken. Dude. Bitch, that's bomb. Like rice I said, is rice. No, yeah, rice is rice. But like I said, you don't want your meal preps to be boring. You don't want them to suck, because then you're going to burn out faster. So as long as you know how to make your food. Alex is a really good cook as it is, but if this is my meal preps, I'm ready. <laughs> really Pull up, go. Uh, you said you'd do it next week, it's next week. I'm sure next week starting today. <laughs> Look y'all, hopefully with my meals being right, and my yim, I'll be able to try to do one next week, but I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, for all y'all wondering if, why I don't post my clients, I just don't. I don't like to. It's really, like it's kind of just their privacy. But Louis was coming to pick up his meals, and I was in the middle of filming and cooking. So, and I told him to buck and record me because I want to be on camera. Yeah. <laughs> so rate it one out of ten. Oh, bitch, ten out of ten, hundred percent. Like sorry. no joke. I love when he cooks, and this is being like meal preps. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, it is the last day. I've got to do an outro. But here's the outro. So. When I cooked the veggies, I basically just threw it on the pan, put a couple little bits of seasoning, salt, pepper, Cajun, a little bit of lemon pepper, and it's all good to go. And this is what it looks like the next day. Louis took his 10 meals, so he got 10 meals. I have a bunch of extra chicken, extra veggies, extra rice, and then a lot more extra chicken back there. Like I said, meal prepping is a lot easier than you think, and it's a lot cheaper than you think as well. If you guys do enjoy this recipe, or you guys even try it, leave it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Send me a DM on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram link at the bottom. And yeah, if you guys enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, and catch you guys on the next one. I don't know. I just lost my mind. I can't think about this shit no more.